This, for many people, is, is, is just, it's countercultural. The beauty of it is that nobody else really does it or believes in it, both in our society or in the, of the church right now. Being part of the Salvatorian family is really about belonging to a family of men and women who take a creative and energetic approach to religious life. One of the charisms of the Salvatorians is to is inclusiveness, but it includes all these different mindsets, different disciplines, um, and we work together, I think, very well. I would say we're definitely unique. Um, we are not, we're not a model that's commonly found in our world. I think the impact that we have is how we do it. Okay, it's not the what, it's the how. How the Salvatorians minister is what makes them notably unique. Father Francis Jordan, who founded the religious order in 1881, set out to serve through a discipleship of equals. What I'm amazed at is the insight and the prophetic dimension of Father Jordan when he understood that right from our baptism, all of us are called to be apostles. Men and women equals working together, each with his or her own said, insight. Hey, if we could find a place to get together. One of the things I really appreciated Just since my first day days as a Salvatorian is the way that we relate to one another as Salvatorians. We tend not to use a lot of titles, a lot of hierarchical um, distinctions, but we're simply Salvatorians with one another. Whether you're a priest, a brother, a sister, a lay person, is totally unimportant. The role, the position is unimportant. What you bring to the table is the gift that God has given you. In our world we tend to divide and we tend to put ourselves in hierarchies of power. And it is a joy to be looked upon as an equal. There's a creative fusion that happens, I found, collaboratively because of all those perspectives. We want young, old, uh, to be part of the decision and the work of the ministry. To witness to our world that there are other ways of being. That we can recognize our human frailty and our human sinfulness and yet work together and make something good happen. I think that our model is a model for society and for the church. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Salvatorians serve by all ways and means in more than 45 countries and six continents. We are doing wonderful things. We just have, our ministries are wonderful all over the world. When I think of Africa, less than 60 years ago, we sent four guys over there. And today there is a diocese celebrating its 25th anniversary, native priests, native sisters, many schools, many hospitals, a university that we founded from four guys and four sisters. We have Southwest Medical Aid. We have food and clothing through the Salvatorian Mission Warehouse. We have Jordan Ministry, which is teaching. We have Project Light, which we teach people to read. We have a group of sisters that works with human trafficking, trying to get those people you know, a, a safe place and a safe way to get out of, of that. Our impact today remains linked with the past. We haven't changed who we are, but we've changed how we are. We're on Facebook, we've, we're on Twitter, we're, we've got websites, we use media. We're standing before different groups of people speaking to issues that are today's issues. When we address the issue of human trafficking and slavery in the 21st century, we're looking at our reality and we're saying, how can we bring the gospel to this reality of our times? In my experience, the difference we make is person by person. In our parishes, in our schools, in our ministries, when we can help somebody recognize God's presence in their lives and allow them the ability to, to share that and to express that in their ministry and how they live, that's making a difference in this world. I see Salvatorians all over the world as helping people to experience life, to, ex to help them to improve their own quality of life. Over the past 40 years, we, the Salvatorians, have helped thousands and thousands of kids who are throwaway kids that the county and the state didn't need, didn't want, and said they wouldn't make it. And we help them grow, change, 
And really, it's all about self-esteem, love, trust, that type of thing. Until every man, woman, and child comes to know the Savior, our work as Salvatorians is not done. And so we definitely have our work cut out for us. This mission is bigger than any of us, and we need each other. I think it's even more important today in the 21st century, the fact that there is a greater reason why we are here is a bigger challenge today than it ever has been in my lifetime. The call to serve as a Salvatorian is as unique for each individual as the Salvatorian charism. I was at a place in my life where I'd finally achieved a little bit of security and sort of put my life together. I was a little, I was a stable adult and for me to, to have this calling to religious life, it was very unexpected. I originally started looking at religious life my freshman year of high school. And before that, I didn't really give God a whole lot of thought. At my old high school, we had reconciliation on Thursdays. Um, and something was just nudging me one day to go. The priest who's hearing confessions, I just in listening to him, he just made me think more and want to get to know God better. I had to take a leap of faith. I think the better way to look at it, though, is an adventure. I always encourage people to listen, to listen to what's in their heart. Is your life calling you to be something more than you are right now? If you want to make a difference in the church and in the broader society, there's a place for you within the Salvatorian family. We are such an individual, diversified group but we do amazing things in this world. So just come and see. Be open. Um, the Holy Spirit is working, and with Him you can't go wrong. One of the things I appreciate about being a Salvatorian is we don't have to give up our professional selves. We add something more to that and live those relationships and those gifts even more deeply within the Salvatorian family. I'm just so excited about all the things that, that I might end up doing. I might go back to Africa. I might go to the Southwest and work. I might help out in an Indian reservation. I for sure will stay and be very involved in my own parish. Today is my 50th anniversary. Amazing. It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. If you have a real desire to be a disciple of Jesus, to follow Jesus, to bring the gift that you have to offer, within the Salvatorian community, you'll find that gift valued there. What I love most about Jordan's vision is that there are no boundaries to it. We, we are the Salvatorians. We are the Salvatorians. We are the Salvatorians. We are the Salvatorians. We are the Salvatorians.